Hello friends. Good morning and good evening everyone. So today we are we are going to discuss uh, the remaining portion of this uh, this model designs. So the remaining portion we left for the armature design. So let's let's discuss about uh, armature design. How we will design this uh, armature and uh, what are the different things we are involved in this. So in mainly in armature we have armature winding so armature winding a plays major role this is the this the, this portion of the machine will carry the current and the, in this only the voltage will be used so uh, how to design this armature winding first we have to calculate the current how much current it will carry so first the terminal voltage whatever it is there the terminal voltage is there that is a uh, of uh, 240 volts and uh, similarly the line current uh, whatever line current flows in this uh, DC motor IL is nothing but whatever the power we have and uh, whatever the terminal voltage is there we will say for example the VT and uh, let's consider the efficiency also so this is the line current it will draw so we already can know that the motor output power is uh, 75 kilowatt so let's take 75 into 1000 and the vt we know that uh, 240 uh, we already assume the efficiency of uh, 92 percent so i just took a uh, 0.92 so with this we can calculate current passing through this uh, terminations so 75 by 0.92 into 240 so I got current of 339.67 339.67 ampere so let's say 340 ampere as a round figure this is the current flowing through the termination line current we can say so we have some uh, graph here so the graph is nothing but uh, uh, based on and just drawing a rough graph here so based on the product uh, power so the power pa into rpm so based on this value uh, you have one graph so here it will be percentage uh, voltage drop what is the voltage drop and uh, on another axis we have percentage field current so what is the field current so for this case let's calculate one uh, pa into rpm rpm the product now so PA we already know that armature power developed 77.2 into the RPM is a thousand so rotations per minute that's that value is thousand so we got 7.72 into 10 power 4 7.72 into 10 power 4 this is the product value so correspondingly say this is the this is logarithmic graph 10 power 4 10 power 5 and uh, similarly 10 power 6 so this is the logarithmic graph the graph will be like this so like this the graph will be one of the graph will be like this and uh, similarly the other graph will be like this so we know that this is the voltage the graph or this is the current field current IF graph so from this graph from this graph so for this uh, 7.72 so 7.72 into 10 power 4 so this will be somewhere in this region so uh, this will be around 6 percent and uh, for the, uh, for this case this will be around uh, i think 2 percent so uh, let's let's calculate uh, this this will be around uh, 1.2 percent 1.2 percent so now we are going to calculate the field current so the field let like, the field current if is nothing but 1.2 percent of armature current that is nothing but 340 ampere so if from 340 into 1.2 divided by 100 so we got 4.08 ampere so this is the let's say otherwise let's take this as a 4 ampere that is the field current now so what is terminal voltage so the voltage drop terminal voltage drop in this case this is a 4.7 percent 
So let's uh, let's take four point seven percent. So drop is nothing but four point seven percent of two forty volts. So four point seven percent in two forty volts. So we got eleven point two eight. So eleven point four two eight is the voltage drop. Let's say this as eleven point three volts. Eleven point three volts. So what is the armature current now? What is the armature current now? Why? Because from entire three forty amp. So this is the. So I'm just drawing the representation. So for here it is coming three forty amp. So here some current is going for the field. Here it is flowing four amp. So this will be three thirty six amp here. So armature current. I A is nothing but three. 36 ampere similarly the generated emf here it is of uh, 240 volts that is the uh, terminal voltage v and uh, already we calculated voltage drop as 11.28 so if you remove that uh, terminal learn the voltage drop from this uh, terminal voltage you will get the armature power armature voltage so The terminal voltage is nothing but 228.72. This is the voltage developed in the armature. So up to now we just calculated the voltage and current lines. In the next part we are going to calculate the I mean the different uh, uh, conductor the sizes and the insulation, the slot dimensions and everything. Keep watching.